The Middleton Cross Plains Area School District is a uh, suburban school district just to the west of Madison. We're a district of approximately 7,000 students. We're a pre-K through 12 program. We have 10 school facilities and three non-school facilities. It presents two challenges. One is just a matter of coordination with all these agencies, not just in the planning process, but also in the response aspect. By having a platform like InformaCast, it provides a consistent means of communicating and informing regarding an incident to not just our first responders in those multiple agencies, but also to our staff and parents who are in multiple buildings and our students in multiple buildings. The InformaCast is able to tell us where a 911 call is coming from. It pops up, it, you know, it says 911, it says the room number. It would alert me as well as several other uh, important staff members in the building. The pipes had frozen and the custodian had been watching for that. Water just started funneling out and she thought to just go press the button. It's alerted to my phone, to the office phone, to the nurse's phone, to all of our student services phones, our librarian and kind of central people um, that can respond right away. We all came probably literally 10, 15 seconds. We're notifying key people, our school offices, our transportation department, in the event of the possibility of severe weather. Uh, then when it gets more serious, we have a th severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning, we're able to instantaneously get that message out. In fact, not just get the message out, but actually initiate a broadcast warning over our public address systems inside and outside of our buildings. Certainly now leveraging InformaCast with one button, we're able to then communicate and to notify all of our locations regarding a particular situation. I like to be not stuck in the office, but I like to be around in teachers' classrooms and it's all customized bells for kids outside. Students outside, please get ready to come inside. We're going to need to bring you in because the weather is bad. Students, please get lined up to come inside. We will have no recess. Thank you. So I'll set the entire year um, in advance and then with any kind of delays or closings, I can do that as well. And it's nice that I can do that from home or from school. So if it's a time when I can't come in, then I can also do that from home. In a lockdown, we're in survival mode and we're talking about keeping people safe from danger and to have that ability for those doors to automatically close is very comforting to staff, I think. And to know that when we go into lockdown mode that doors to specific hallways will close automatically Many times parents come early to pick up their students. What I would do is I would dial their extension and then at that time I'm able to um, say the teacher's name and it goes over the intercom. I can also hear if there's chatter in their classroom so I might be able to tell if they don't answer that they're not in the classroom. Hello. Hello, this is Garrett. I am the receptionist during the lunch hour. I have the lobby alert button on the phone and I have the 911 button under the desk. It's, it's a real easy button to get at. It makes me feel more comfortable since I'm the only one here. I'm the first person they see. Yeah. We're able to leverage existing infrastructure you know, our voice over IP phone system uh, with Cisco. Being able to put an application like InformaCast on allows us to leverage and really have an effective system with what we feel is a great value, a very reasonable cost.